We are Project Kratos from Bits Palani KK Birla Goa Campus, a multidisciplinary team of 50 plus students from various engineering backgrounds. We were established in the year 2018 and since then have been consistently participating in various international competitions. Our team is divided into six subsystems, namely controls, mechanical, electronics, power, autonomous, and science. We are proud to present our latest rover, Kratos Mark V. Since the year 2018, we have taken part in multiple international competitions such as the International Rover Challenge, IRC, the University Rover Challenge, URC, and the Anatolian Rover Challenge, ARC. We have an in-house workshop within our university where we perform various mechanical jobs such as CNC, lathe, etc. Additionally, we have access to a state-of-the-art fabrication and prototyping lab on campus featuring multiple 3D printers, a plasma cutter, laser cutter, and a PCB milling machine. The mechanical subsystem is responsible for the design, research, and development of all rover assemblies. This year, our focus was on improving the strength, durability, and reliability of our mechanisms. The arm features a new linear gripper which has gone through multiple iterations, resulting in an end effector that is lighter and more precise. With increased grip strength, the arm is capable of handling larger objects weighing up to 7 kgs. The new bevel mechanism is more compact and has an improved meshing. This year, we have redesigned the wheel to improve the grip. The coupling mechanism for the wheel has been greatly improved to enhance the transmission and durability of the components. We use modified rocker boogie suspension which has been revamped, increasing ground clearance, making it more stable. We have changed our joint patterns, reducing lateral backlash. For our life detection assembly, we have further refined auger mechanism and added a scissor lift for vertical movement. A magnetic steer is used to mix soil with reagents. We have also repositioned pumps for enhanced design flexibility and reliability and created a custom filter to prevent water clogging. This year, we have focused on improving the reliability of our base co-stack in the electronics subsystem. The rover utilizes 2.4 GHz omnidirectional and center antennas for communication. It is equipped with a joystick for control at the base station for teleoperation up to 1 km on LOS. We have switched to a distributed computing system with Jetson handling video feeds and Raspberry Pi handling the basic control of the rover. We have employed hardware-based video encoding, which allows for four or more video feeds over a long range. The wheel velocities are calculated on the Raspberry Pi using a differential drive model, which are then communicated with the motor drivers via a custom serial protocol. Feedback from wheel automatically through magnetic encoders enhances the rover control. Our custom system check algorithm ensures rover readiness and efficient debugging. In case of communication loss, the rover autonomously traces its path using the stereo camera, GPS, and wheel automatic data. The rover autonomously traverses paths using a pure perceived controller and PID controller as a fail safe, which have been tested thoroughly. Power subsystem works on efficient ways of powering the rover, fabricate PCBs. A 25 volt battery is distributed through power distribution board giving 12 volt outputs. A custom power battery back using 18,650 cells. We attach an external battery management system that uses Coulomb counting method of calculating efficiency of the battery, state of charge, etc. We aim to employ Carbon filtering process which is more accurate algorithm to state of charge estimation. We have designed PCBs for arm, life detection and drive mechanisms which have been assembled on campus. A 5 degree of freedom robotic arm with carbon fiber links and advanced linear actuators boasts remarkable accuracy and can tackle dynamic heavy loads up to 7 kgs. By integrating absolute magnetic position encoders on the actuators and IMU sensor on the bevel motors for feedback, a PI controller has been implemented on the end effector position. As a result, during missions, the end effector can be moved linearly along axes and the arm can easily be positioned to preset configurations. We made the switch from a parallel gripper to a linear gripper on the arm, enhancing strength and making operations easier. With the new arm setup, the rover can perform tasks like flipping switches, pushing buttons, turning knobs, operating joysticks inserting a 3-pin plug and opening drawers with ease. The rover can seamlessly switch from arm-based tasks to autonomous tasks well within 2 minutes. This year, in autonomous subsystem, we have introduced a range of developments. To improve our detection capabilities, we shifted our custom error detection model set to Yolo V8, resulting in a much more better and faster identification. Additionally, Inoj uses a Z2I stereo camera that significantly improves trajectory planning and obstacle avoidance while enabling probabilistic elevation mapping and slam for comprehensive environmental understanding. To achieve high precision localization, we implemented an extended Kalman filter which combined with RTK reaches centimeter level accuracy. A circular search algorithm drives the error detection phase which then transitions to PID controlled visual servo mechanism to guide the system precisely to its target. This year's science assembly consists of an osmium attached to a sensitive mechanism which is used to drill into the soil and collect soil samples. The custom 3D printed funnel directs part of the soil into a cache container for later retrieval while the rest goes into falcon tubes. The soil solution is then tested for carbonates, perchlorates, and proteins. We also use an AS765X spectral sensor to detect proteins. The rover uses a logic camera to capture rock images. The backgrounds of these images are then digitally removed and are then classified by a serial model taken on our dataset. High resolution soil images are captured with a digital microscope and manually classified using a soil muscle chart. Additionally, this year we have implemented an NPK sensor which measures soil nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium levels along with humidity, temperature, and pH levels. We have also upgraded to multi channel gas sensors and CO2 sensors to monitor atmospheric conditions to assess habitability and potential for life. As a part of our educational outreach program, we train over 400 plus students to design, build, and operate a Mars rover. This program not only helps us educate, but also serves as a recruiting ground for students who have no prior experience in robotics to learn, grow, and join our team.